Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse. And we have a very special guest here today. Jerry flew him in. Right? That's right. Did yeah. you fly him in? Uh-huh. We have Baron Witherspoon with a, us. A legend. The, 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 the legend. That's what we're talking about, legends in the horse industry. We're going to have a good show today. No doubt about it. Well, it's time to do your job. Oh, now you want me to do the job. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. We'll be right back after this short pause for our sponsors. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. All right, I've got just a couple of announcements and then we're going to get right into this. And it all has to do with December. December 1st and 2nd seems like everything's happening. We've got Toast of Unity over at Tweeba. Then we got the Tweeba Banquet, General Membership Meeting and all this. Um, then we got the Huata Convention. It's going to be at the CalSonic this year. It's the second through the, and the third. So all of those are the first and second of December. Mm. You'll be at every one of them. I'll be at every one of them. I bet you ain't, because some of these conflict with the others. There ain't no way. There ain't no way you'll be at both of them. Well, Baron, you you how long have you been? Uh, well, wait a minute. I forgot one other thing. The jewelry. We still got some jewelry. So anybody that's interested, give me a shout. The prices are slashed. I'm. I need to go out of the jewelry business, <laughs> or Carol does. Christmas time is coming up. Christmas, that's right. That's some beautiful yeah. pieces. Oh, there's some great pieces on there and outstanding prices. They, uh, I'm surprised all of it. I had one lady that she, she said, would you take this for this piece? I said, ma'am, it ain't that high. She said, well, then I want it. <laughs> that's one way of doing it. Said, if it ain't that high, I want it. <laughs> and that's the best way to be. If it ain't that high, that's one that I figured a blacksmith would already have got. Mm -hmm. The anvil. Because mm -hmm. it's three-dimension. It, it's a truly, truly good. 
But if y'all need it, just give me a holler. Be glad to show you. And Baron, with you, we, uh, we're going to turn back the hands of time. Uh-oh. Okay. This was back in 2019, the fun show in Shelbyville, Tennessee. I just want everybody to know that, that you're not here just because you're a great guy. You're here because you can ride a horse. That's right. <laughs> right there you are. <laughs> <laughs> how, does it, how does it feel when you're showing? How do you feel? Oh, it's like the world just goes away. You just, and it's just you and the horse, and you're in like in another world. It's a, it's a, it's a feeling like no other. You'd be surprised how many people said that. Yep. It really would. That's because it's true. I mean, I tell you what, when you're doing something that you really enjoy, and, and you can tell, I can watch a lot of people when they're riding, and you, you can tell how they're feeling. I mean, you honestly can. Hmm. Robert Dorch, you never see him without a smile on his face. That's right. Debbie Eichler, she's always grinning ear to ear. <laughs> and Sister Miller got that head cocked to one side, just smiling like a possum. So. <laughs> well, that was, that was a happy moment, Jerry. Well, I imagine so. <laughs> Anytime you get that blue, it's gotta be. That's happy. right, yeah. that's right. Well, Baron, just so people know, You've been showing for several years, I know, but what what do you what, what is your occupation? Well, um, I worked for 35 years for a little outfit out of Cincinnati, Ohio, called Procter and Gamble. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know the Procter and Gamble, no doubt. <laughs> and uh, I, I enjoyed a, a, a fabulous career with Procter and Gamble, 35 years, as I said, and I retired last year in June. Oh. So. Uh, after that that long service, I was ready to put my attention into some things that I really enjoy, and uh, that uh, freed me up to spend more time with my horses. But that's uh, that's what I did for a living, and uh, wouldn't didn't regret a moment of it. It was a fantastic journey. Well, you you told me something very surprising, that you had two children. Yes. One of them's a lawyer, and one of them's a doctor. That's right. That's right. My daughter is a doctor. She's a clinical psychologist, and uh, and our son is a lawyer. And our son just got his first job as a lawyer. All right. And guess where he's working? He is in Las Vegas. Oh, he's, he's, Vegas. he's big time. <laughs> <laughs> Doing legal work for the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm telling you. There, there was somebody else that was telling me that their daughter was doing Dr. Gupta, my heart doctor. Ah. His daughter. One of them, she, she went to be a lawyer. I mean, you know, she wanted to be a doctor. Then she decided she'd be a lawyer. Okay. So she's both. I mean, she's a doctor and a lawyer. But now she's out, out there, but she's working with the NFL's uh, uh, committee that's fighting for more money and all this. That's ah, who she works okay. for. So that's for the Players cool. Association? Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that stuff. <laughs> Jerry, just think you could have done that. that no, no. I, lo I love these horses. That's all I, you know. That's you all I, no. Way. I like these horses. It, it I tried to do something else one time for one. I went right back to the horses. That's <laughs> well, i tell you what. Unlike Baron, I, I retired three times. There you go. Now, I did. I did live communications for years and did security work and, and phone systems, and I quit. But then I, I still had my security license and everything, so I'd help design systems and talk to people about systems. But then I started back selling phones, and then one time I went completely crazy mm. and uh, bought part of the studio. <laughs> and and I, I was cra I mean, I must have been high on something when I did that. <laughs> I, I made an offer and the lady took it, and, I, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> so, but I, I'd, I'd give anything but go fishing every now and then. Oh, but there you go. <laughs> well, we, well, what, what all do you do other than riding horses? Well, you know, uh, somebody asked me when I was retiring, you know, what is it that you're going to do in retirement? And I could hear underneath that question, they thought I was just going to be bored, you know, and just wouldn't have to know how to fill mm, up my days. Right. But uh, I told them what I plan to do in retirement is four things. Books, boards, beaches, and horses. Books, boards, beaches, beaches and, and horses. horses. Yeah. So I'm writing a book about my experience in business. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and uh, that, by the way, that should be coming out uh, in, the, uh, in the winter of this year. So I'm, I'm well down the track on writing that. Boards is how I give back to society. Uh, I serve on a number of boards. Uh, most of them are involved either in education or in, in jobs. Right. Um, so uh, board work is, is important to me. It's one of, one of the ways I just give back to the community and back to yeah. society. Um, beaches, my wife and I both love beaches. So when we decided to retire, we moved to Cocoa Beach, Florida. Um, I grew up actually in that area. Um, and so we have a place down there and we have a few other places down there that we rent mm. uh, as well. So if you guys are interested in coming down to Cocoa yeah. Beach, y'all come on down. We got uh, two places right on the beach. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then of course, horses. And what's happening with me with horses is my, my love for horses is taking over more and more of my time and energy as planned. Mm -hmm. as planned yeah. um, and so uh, Jerry knows and we, yeah. we do things together with uh, with with, with uh, the horse business and um, and I try and work with with different people in the industry mm -hmm. um, you know to to just advance the industry and mm -hmm. uh, advance the breed yeah and have fun doing it you know while I'm while I'm doing I've it. just got one thing to say I should have invited you back during the celebration to be over here, and that's your fault. <laughs> we, had, we had Paul, because I just got through renting a place at Gulf Shores ah. for the whole family to go for December, <laughs> December for Christmas. There we'd been, you go. We'd been going north, but last year we rented a place where we about froze. I told them, I said, I ain't going north no more, we're going south. There you go. So we're going down there for and I go out fishing. To see. Oh, excellent! But now, if I'd, if I'd, if we'd have just done this sooner, I'd took you up on. Coming there you go. Back. There you go. There's always next year, Jerry. There's always, right. there's always <laughs> next year. All right. Here we we got some videos. <laughs> you know, we just had some really great shows. Mm -hmm. There's one right here, Harlan Darling. You know Kenny Smith. Yes. Now, now this, this is his daughter Dahlia. We found out that her husband does all kinds of things. We, we, we questioned what he did. So he sent me a text letting me know everything he did. <laughs> He's a fine fellow. Uh, Shannon's a good guy. Oh, man. Yeah. That's a nice horse. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, Renee is Kenny's wife, her mother. Right here is Jose Solid Pusher. Now, here's one that's for sale. Yeah. Uh, ain't a bad price on that horse either. Mm. That's a nice mare right there. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I talked to Wayne. I said, I'd be interested in maybe a trade, but I'm wanting some boot on mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Jerry likes it when you get boots. So. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he hits a double lick then. <laughs> Zorro Jr. And that's a horse I have been real impressed with. Last mm -hmm. couple of shows, it's made. Yeah. I tell you, that four-year-old class has been a real big it's class tough. year. It I really mean, has. It a has. great year for four-year-olds. Yes. It's been a great year for four-year-olds. Then next year for the state classes, you're going to have some pretty good horses Absolutely. in the state classes. Absolutely. There's a George up Florida line. Robert, Robert Deutsch has been having a lot of fun with that horse. Yes. Oh, yeah. He said when he got it, he said, I'm going to have a bunch of good times with it. <laughs> he's got one that he just bought that uh, he's doing a fan favorite on that he, he's real high on. Okay. He just likes the show. He does. He does. He's one of the fun people to be uh, next to in the lineup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Out there, Top Gun Maverick and Bill Calloway. I tell you what, Bob Adcock just keeps reloading. He does. That's all he does. He does. He's going from strength to strength. Yes. They get out here and find them. I can tell him that. <laughs> you know, lately here, the last few well, especially this year and last year, you have a ring full of good horses. That's right. You really do. I mean, That's before right. you used to see two or three, but now you see a ring full of good horses. Exactly. These little girls right here, these two sisters. Yes. Now, buddy, one of them real, real aggressive in riding, the other's a little laid back. Mm -hmm. But now both of them can jockey a horse. They sure can. <coughs> they sure can. 
Now that's another great example of watching little kids grow up. Yes, you know, we all remember them just little, barely getting up, big enough to be on a horse, yes. and now they're like big girls. And I remember them in the else. lead line. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Praise and honor in Jeff Lachlan for Doris Pennick. <laughs> I tell you what, Doris is a peach. Now she is. She's just a sweet lady. I'm talking <laughs> to her and her husband during the the show over there, and they were. They was tickled with the way their horses were doing. <laughs> Jeff does a good job. Yes. Yeah, he does. They work hard out there. Mr. For Real and Paul, Paul. Simmons. <laughs> Paul, he enjoy them horses now. He, oh, oh, yeah. He like it. He get, he get into it. He really does. I talked to him yesterday, and it, it, it caught me off guard because he said he's on the way to the cemetery, and I, I forgot I forgot what <laughs> he did business, for a living. Huh? <laughs> I, said, I said, "Oh, Paul, I'm so sorry." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul, he's a good one. He is. And here's the Char Queen and John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley. Some good ones. <laughs> a lot of people said when they fixed the ring like they did in Tunica yeah. that they really don't like it. They like it a little bit bigger. Big ring, yeah. where, where you can really get out there and let your horse go. Yeah. Here's title defense and Samantha Green, Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. Virginia Stewart is one of the good ones. Yes, yeah, she's a nice lady. Mm -hmm. She thinks a lot of Jeremy. Yeah, she's she been real good to Jeremy, you know. Hey. Yeah. Showing our horses and stuff like that, letting, letting them show and stuff. But there's a kingpin. There's old Bob. Bob. That's a good Bob. horse. Yeah. Really good horse. Very consistent. He yeah. shows up, rides, and gets it over with. Mm -hmm. Very consistent. Tell you what, his brother was a good one too. He sure he was. Hey, you couldn't beat him. He sure was. I I enjoyed visiting when the both of them were together yeah. and talking to both of them. They played off each other. It was always a fun conversation. Right there she is, Ali Joe Jacobs. <laughs> I tell you what, that says a lot for this industry. Uh, that's when exactly you got right. a little girl like that size on a horse that big, that's and exactly he just right. seems whatever she wants to do, let's go do it. That's right. I watched Jimmy on him the other day now. With a trainer on his back. He's got a oh, lot yeah. to offer. Hey, he, he's awesome. got a whole yeah, lot to offer. He's got a lot to offer. That's a good horse. There's Mr. Mm -hmm. Adcock again. This horse is a nice horse. Every year, this horse gets better and better. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he was good as a two-year-old, and he's as better as a three-year-old. Yeah. Well, here's one of them that when he comes in, you, you know, he kind of grabs yeah. your attention. Yes. And, and you can't help but keep going back and watching what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He never, never seems to miss a lick. Just, he seems to enjoy his work. But there's on the sly. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse did him good. Yeah, that really done Jesse some good. Yeah. Jesse like riding, he riding a lot more than that, <laughs> riding them coats and everything else. Well, <laughs> hey. He enjoyed it. That's one you're gonna get that every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, he's just a good horse. Yeah. Good to show. And here he is, Patrick Mahomes. That's another four-year-old. Yeah. They, I mean, there a lot of people looking at that horse. He's wrapping up the season quite nice. Yeah, oh, that yeah. horse yeah, there yeah. is doing good. I'm so Coming proud of Terry home. and and Paul and stuff like that. Yeah, oh, shows up on his him horse. Well. Yeah, he, he really does. That horse is really coming on. Mm-hmm. Right there's another one of Bob's horses. You very seldom see him lower than reserve. Mm -hmm. yep. 
if it is, it's because there's a blind judge out there because he ain't riding no bad horse in now, there. Now, he got good horses. <laughs> We're fortunate that we have owners that have high caliber horses. Yeah, you know? absolutely. But there's Coach Cal. <laughs> I tell you, that's a good old horse right there, too. He's been good for a long time, that Coach yes, Cal. Yes, he has. Well, he's world grand champion, yeah. world champion. But he just, uh, he, he's one of these, he's just a, he's a real good horse. Mm -hmm. I believe you almost can take them reins and tie that saddle and that horse will go around that ring by itself. Yep. And there's a Dixieland Delight on her Vicky Penny. <laughs> Jeff has some good, good yeah. shows up there now. Did real well. You know, talking about this show right here, I like the idea with the tables, but it just, it just makes them curves too, a little too tight mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. and I mean, it's a good idea. Here, here's a country lineman in Bill Calway now. That one, he's fixing to go into youth. Mm -hmm. Beth, Beth done made that plane, she said. Next year, he's going down. And I believe BB's going to get him. Uh-oh. Because Maxine's got the other one. Uh-huh. I could be wrong. If I am, Beth will correct me. And right here is a horse. Baron, this horse right here is the one that broke the, the money barrier when nobody could sell a horse. Mm -hmm. They was wanting her to sell, Debbie to sell this one. And she told me what she was asking for. And she said, that'll shut them up. Mm. That night they called her. Said, <laughs> I got your money. I know that's and, right. And she, well, she cried. But Frank told her, said, you told them you'd take it, now take it. Yeah. But after that, people started getting good prices yeah. for their horses. It's important. Yeah. That's important. There's BB on Super Bowl MVP. Now, this was a very exciting class right oh, here. Oh, Lord. That juvenile class, they made, <laughs> made it be the last class of that night. Okay. And they called them in one by one, just like they did the steak, yes. the steak horses. Yes. Them kids was in. Yeah. But, the, but the adults got jealous of that. Yeah. Did you notice what they did in Tunica? They did the same thing for them. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't exciting like this class no, right it here. Wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't exciting it like this class right here. They had a bunch of good horses in it, though. Like everybody in the it crowd was, 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 was cheering for that class. It wasn't yes. a certain horse. They were just clean cheering for that, that class. For that oh, that's, a, that's how it should be. We yeah. should yeah. be encouraging all of our youth you, yes, uh, right. to, to do well right. and, and have fun in the show. Right? Now it's your turn. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> Why are each one? So uh, get your cat off from me or sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 there's opportunity. The bid, 27. Where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call. When you get down to it, done. So, so. You got me 2600, 2600 here. The bid, 56 and a half. 5600. Got a little bit of a five here, six. So, 5500. You bought a 5500. And so, left 100 car call. Take a look. Call left 100. You bought. So, so, so. You break one. Break the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Anna Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right that said this, but so, 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 you bought it. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, we're back. And Jerry, there, there was a situation that happened in uh, Tunica. 
Every year when we go to horse shows, we always have the goat boy show up and start going after people. Yeah. And I, we watched him go after Jamie. We watched him go after you. Then the police come, and for once, they treated him like he needed to be treated. Because yes. you can see him there. He's agitating Jamie, trying to get provoke Jamie. And he just it looks around. He wants people to know that he's watching, yeah. that, you know, what he's doing. He wants then he wants to holler and yell. Mm -hmm. He called me a bunch of names, but I got news for him. They, they, they don't hurt, mm -hmm. especially when an idiot's calling them out. <laughs> well, the thing of it is, you know, this is an event, and he's disrupting mm -hmm. everybody that's out there. There's when he went after and, you. And mm -hmm. all that stuff. You know, it ain't no sense of him being there. Well, for what he's doing, because he started asking people their names and wanted to know where they worked. Mm -hmm. Now, why does he want to know that? Yeah, so exactly. he can call their jobs and tell them what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But he, he, he got what he deserved. He constantly wants to provoke people, but then he, he wants to be real timid yeah. when confronted with authority. So. It's, a it's a private event. It's a private event. It's a private event. It's a private event. Now, this is a this is a private no, no, no. Come on, this is good. Come on, you come back, you're going to be charged with trespass. Sir, I'm not going to be charged with trespass. You come back, I'm telling you that. He just, I don't know, I know what he gets out of it because he does go fund me and all this, mm -hmm. but he, this was his last chance to make a big hit. Yeah. yeah. And, and he came down there with the sole purpose of provoking somebody. And first I was afraid it was going to be Jamie. And then when he started it on you, I'm afraid it's going to be you. Mm -hmm. So it just, it, it, he's, it, maybe he's gone now. We won't have to worry with him no more. I hope so. All right, let's go to the tunica. <laughs> we got we got some videos and horse. There's some great classes down there. This amateur two-year-old stallion class, it was a good class, real good class. They had some good horses in that class. This is one that uh, Robert Dorch was, he was in it, and uh, he was so proud of his horse because it's the first time he had ridden him. Yeah. First time he had showed him. And right there's another, and that's a real good horse that Jake was on. But that slim and hot that Robert Dorch was on, yeah, he, he liked him. <laughs> Big John Coffey won it with Kyle Insel. Dixie Dare, Dixie Daredevil. Dixie Dare, ah, that's a, that's a name. Hotty Toddy, Gosh Almighty, and Greg Kaiser. Slim and Hot, Honor Son. That's the one Jake Jacobs was riding right there. Then you had I'm Doc Holliday, Joseph Abernathy, I Am Bentley, Becky Mite, and he's a lucky dollar, Ella Abernathy. Finished out the ribbon. There's one thing about Robert, when he gets one, he doesn't expect glory right off the bat. He, he knows it's a working proposition. Yeah, you got to put in the work. That's it. I was surprised that horse placed as low as he did. But there's Robert, he's coming mm -hmm. across there good. Right there he is, slim and hot, <laughs> Robert Dorch. He told me I need a push for next year. <laughs> that's a pretty nice horse. It is a nice horse. Yeah, for a two-year-old, that's, that's plenty right there. Here's your amateur canter class. I thought this was a good class. 
a lot of good yeah. horses in it. Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacobs took the blue, the Mason Dixon line, past world grand champion, world champion, Beth Pippen, Bobby Jones, and Michael Mosteller, and my Margaritaville, Brooklyn Fuss. There's Beth. You know, I wish there was more canter classes than what they are. Yeah. Max. I was just going to make that remark, and I, I think they also, I'd like to see them let them canter just a little bit longer in some yeah. of these classes, too. Yeah. Well, I can remember when everybody cantered, including the ponies. Mm-hmm. Well, you didn't have those specialty classes a long time ago. You had only one, even a juvenile canter in a championship. Mm-hmm. 17 and under. The juvenile ponies can. Yeah, absolutely. I remember being out with my brother-in-law and sister, sister-in-law years ago, and he had some old horses out there, and one of them just walked like it at one time had to be a show horse. So I tried to get it to canter. It started doing that canter, and my sister-in-law coming and running out of the house, <laughs> trying to throw him in, trying to throw him in. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacobs. <laughs> that's a nice horse there, too. You know, Baron, I don't know if you know it, but that's the only horse to ever beat. I am Jose. There you go. Sure, yeah. Beat him as a four year old. Yeah. That's the only horse to ever beat. <coughs> Good horse. He can walk it on. Mm -hmm. Jake's a super good guy. But if you ever need anything in a horse show, you call Jake. He's going to be there one way or the other. And here's your amateur four-year-old Stallions. And Jake won this one. El Hombre in black, and Jake Jacobs took the blue. Captain Woodrow F. Call and Lacey Matthews reserve. Dixie Preacher, Kyle Lentzel. In a slim line 4G, Nicholas Gillespie finished out the ribbon. Jake's got a good line up a horse. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Four pretty good horses in oh, the ring. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, that ring down there is a little bit bigger than the one at the Cal Sonic. Yes, it is. I spend too much time looking at old videos. <laughs> I do. Is that possible? No, I, get on, well, I go to my YouTube page and I go back and look at ones that are several years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you look at them today and you see differences in the horses. Oh, absolutely. And, and plus, you can see the difference in the way people ride today. The, more they get into it, mm -hmm. they they kind of figure out a better way and better posture in riding. That's true. Well, I always say, you know, you can look at a picture and a picture do one thing, but you can always, if you go back and look at that video and just like you looked at the one we showed of you mm -hmm. back, you know, you this is sighted now than it was when you, mm -hmm. if you see it then, you know, yes, yes. back then, you know. There it puts you in the place. Put, in the you moment. Put, yeah, yeah. Moment. Mm -hmm. El Hombre in black and Jake Jacobs. You know, Jimmy says this horse right here said he, he was a little behind. Said he's going to come on and, and he told oh, yeah. me he said now he's going to be a piece of work once they're done. Mm -hmm. and he got a good step. Yeah, he's, his groundwork is pretty impressive right there. Mm -hmm. A little different on the motion. Man, that's gonna be something. Gonna be a lot to talk about. Oh yeah, about. 
Mm-hmm. Now I tell you, this was a huge class. It was 14 horses in this class. Wow. Yeah, it sure was. I mean, it was packed. Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald took the blue. A home run by Ted and Greg Kaiser reserve. Harley Quinn, Beth yeah, Collins, there's nice. a world champion that was third. Manny, another world champion. Mm -hmm. Tyler Walters, fourth. Dixie Majorette, Jason Joseph, a neon cowboy, Brian Nichols, Flying High CC, Cheryl Crawford, another world champion. And he's a war horse, Chastity Fulser. Oh, they had a good class. You had some good horses and good riders yeah. that didn't get a ribbon. Mm -hmm. That's fact. Mm -hmm. That's when your horse shows are That's a good the horse. best. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. But you know, I, Baron, I see a lot of horses that are real good horses, but they may not have a, a head shake. Mm -hmm. Or they may be a little short in behind. Mm -hmm. And when I look at them, I, I like to follow the model yes. of what the horse is supposed to be. Yes. And, and of course, you, you nick each one of those things if they don't have it. That's right. I watched a great class down there and there two great horses out there. But they tied the one that never shook its head yeah. the first time. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's 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 something that is um, we we need to pay closer attention to that. Yes. I think well, they the need to be doing all three parts. Parts, yeah, you're and, exactly uh, right. We we need to make sure we're we're watching for that. I know a good friend of mine took a ribbing because she tied a horse down, and uh, when we went back and looked at the video, she tied the horse down because it never cantered the second way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to fulfill the gates. That's right. I know long, the old folks used to say, if they ain't walking, if they ain't shaking, they ain't walking. That's, That's it. true. <laughs> That's fact, yeah. It may be wrecking, yeah, but, but they, they ain't walking. walking. <laughs> they ain't walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't walking. They ain't walking. They ain't walking. They ain't walking. And I've seen some of these racking horse classes where they should have took the horse and put it in a walking horse. You got class. that right. Yeah. <laughs> Too much motion. Yes. Yeah. You got that right. Out right there he is. Now that, that's just a flat out flat walk right there, buddy. Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. Mm-hmm. Nice. I do a lot of work with a lady down in uh, Atlanta that's uh she's at uh, got the uh, TV network, the Extreme Cowboy Competition and they run quite a horse on it. She told me, she said, I got to have a picture of that uptight Jose. She fell in love with him first time she saw it. Really? Yes. Oh, that's great. Well, see, horse people appreciate good horses. I know. Regardless of what breed that they're, they're working in, they yeah. just appreciate good horses. Good horse. Well, exactly a lot right. of people understand things that even our government don't understand. I got a friend from uh, England that Text me and he calls, calls me every now and then. He said, Do they really think that those horses are going to stand there and not move and them banging all over them and mm -hmm. keeping them out there? And I said, That's what they expect. And he said, Well, I don't even have a horse, but I wouldn't expect one to do that. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'll do it. I will. We'll be right back after this message. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications.
You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right. We have something very special. This is the first. Yes, the it is. First. The first. Very first. <laughs> But I finally convinced Jerry that he could do it. <laughs> and he did it. A little nervous. And, and a little nervous, but now he did it. And Allie Joe helped him a lot, I'm going to tell you. Yes, she did. <laughs> but we're going to go to an interview in Tunica, Mississippi, right now. Well, I'm here, down over here in Tunica, Mississippi. And I got two famous riders right here. This is Jake Jacobs and Allie Joe. Jake, I've seen where you won last night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got real lucky. One on a canter horse and one on a four-year-old amateur horse. We was really lucky with both of them. We just tickled to be down here. That's a good deal. And Ms. Allie Jo, you show tonight? Um, I show Cohan and Coach Cow tonight. What class do you show in? Uh, show Pleasure and 11 and Under. 11 and Under. I tell you what, you getting to be a legend. Thank you. Are you excited about showing or not? I'm really excited. You like riding the horses, don't you? I like riding the horses. You too. I see, I see where your dad won last night, so you're going to have to I was beat happy your, about that. So you're going to have to beat your dad's record. Okay. The bad thing is she's already so far ahead of me, I ain't ever going to be able to catch up <laughs> with her anyway. I understand. But, um, so you you getting excited? I'm excited. Where's your favorite place to be? You got a big boy food and horse you had anything with I tell you, I sit there and I watch you on that rail a lot of times. I see when your daddy riding, you sit there and you focus and you sit up there and you, you try to help coach him on the rail and you get really excited about it. That's sometimes. Sometimes, huh? <laughs> you give your daddy pointers, don't you? Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh-huh. But Jake, you got a bunch of good horses, bud. We've been uh -huh. really lucky, man. We 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 picked some pretty good horses, got some good trainers training them. It's all kind of falling in place. We are just we're really, really happy to be part of such a great industry. This this means a lot to us. It's it's like out here this morning, you know, you, everybody's working their horses and you look around, and the youngs is overall playing together and everybody just socializing. It, it's amazing to me such a large industry is so close knit and everybody gets along so it's it's really impressive. You're right. You're exactly right on that right there, you know. I'm looking forward to seeing in the future Ali Joe being down in the juvenile class and then move on up to the 17 and under. 17 and under. I'll tell you what, you you got a good future ahead of you. And here we go with 11 and under, Jerry. And Ali Joe won his class. <laughs> Cohan and Allie Joe Jacobs takes the blue. I'm on good behavior. And Mary Beach Alice was reserved. The Bronx Bomber and Brooks Tackett was third. And Jen's not kidding. And Jack Harney finished out the ribbons. Well, you know, you can just look how easy and and um, well mounted these horses are. You know, that little boy there, I guarantee you, he's barely just six years old and out there riding them horses out there. And, and that horse weighed a good thousand pounds. I bet they're not true way close to 11. That's a big yeah. horse, mm -hmm. good size horse. Did you ride when you was a kid, Baron? I, I rode when I was a little bitty kid. And then I never rode again until I was well into my adulthood. Yeah, and I never, I had never shown in the show ring until 2017. Is that right? Yes. That's, so. on, that's always been on my bucket list, but I never have. <laughs>
I've taken steps to, it never did. <laughs> Cole Hahn and Allie Joe takes the blue. Well, Baron, you got it in your blood there, buddy. Oh, your yes. Your family oh, is yes. real big, isn't it? It's a legacy for me. Yeah. Hey, I've, I've heard Witherspoon ever since I was a kid. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember his first name, but Witherspoon had can do. Frank, Frank Witherspoon. Frank, yeah, Frank that's it. Frank Witherspoon, delights can do. You got it. Yes, and, and you talk absolutely. about a bad cat. Yes. Hot dog. Yes. He could walk. Now, when I was a little kid, they had him, and, uh, you know, they would put us up on him and, uh, you know, and, and whatnot. So those are some of my fond early memories, you yeah, know, well, being you around the good horses. And... Yes. This right here, wired in line, and Kelsey Wright was first. I'm Coach Cal, and Ali Joe was reserved, and Nico Moon, Mason Taylor finished out the ribbons. This wasn't a very big class, which was a surprise him because normally that show pleasure class is pretty pretty packed. Yes, that's true. I think the more we get these young young uh, riders involved early, yes, and keep them involved, the better off we're going to be. Yes, that is so true. This uh, the academy. Is, is something that I think that we need very badly. That's and, a great uh, point. Well, I'm hoping this winter we can just have some, maybe out in Jerry's, have some Saturdays where we get people out there to yes. ride mm -hmm. and get them interested in it. Mm -hmm. If we can get some of these instructors and some of the, some of the trainers, because we got trainers that would be great instructors for kids. There's I'm Coach Cal. Mm -hmm. And Allie Joe Jacobs was reserved. You know, most of us won't won't uh, won't ever forget her riding with a broken arm. That's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, doing such a good job. She was cool as a cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they had to cut the sleeves of her coat and everything and, and fix it to where she could wear it with a cast. Yes. <laughs> They call that determination. That's right. Big That's time. Right. Four-year-old Marion Gilding class. I tell you what, Shane Porterfield, he he goes out there and finds him some good ones. Honors Image and Tanner Burks took the blue in this class for Shane Porterfield. Dim the lights in Knox Blackburn for Rod and Sadie Parsons. The Mandalorian, Michael Wright for Ed and Shannon Cotter. Jen's Lucky Penny, Jeff Lachlan for Jamie Chapman. In line with luck, Blaze Picard for Michael Chandler. Amber. Government showed up down there and, and slowed the classes down. Mm. But once they got in, it was good horses in the ring. Image and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. It's a nice horse. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll tell you, Honors is getting some pretty good horses in the ring. And I'm glad about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I like too. Honors. Hey. Absolutely. I got me a little stud that I'm awful proud of. Yeah, he's beautiful. Here you go, country pleasure. First night out and Ally Joe takes the blue. He is Forrest Gump and Reagan Garner's reserve. Huckleberry Gin and Taylor Harvey. And it's, it's a Jose thing. 
Faith Driscoll. <coughs> you know, I watched Alan Joe in this class here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her horse never missed a beat the whole time that he was out there. And I really thought, and not knocking nobody, but that third place horse, I thought looked awfully good yeah. mm. because of the consistency. Yes. But th these horses here with these kids. You know, if you look at these horses right here, they doing just, about the same thing as a performance horse. They're shaking their head and walking behind. Mm -hmm. yep. One of them is stepping up higher than the other one up front. Exactly. But I mean, they still got the same mindset, the same thing going for them. That's right. That's exactly right. Well, there she is, first night out in Allie Joe Jacobs. <laughs> She made a nice show there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just tickled that we have kids that love to ride as, as, as many as we do. Yeah. We just need a whole lot more. You got that right. But that's exciting. Yeah. Right here's your four-year-old stallions. And I'm, I know I'm prejudiced when I say it, but I, I honestly do love this right there. Now I do. Honoring and remembering Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. Boone's gin was reserved. Jimmy McConnell, and I, I think he's outstanding. He's just a good one. Lethal Black Gin, Clay Sanderson, Dixie Preacher, Justin Harris, and Badge. Link Webb finished out the ribbons. Like I said, that four year class be a that state class next year will be a good class. It's gonna be top much. <laughs> We've had some good four-year-old classes all year. Yeah. And I tell you what, on any given night, it could be any of them. That's, That's right. Because right. we've got some this year that, that uh, because of medical reasons, didn't get back quick enough. Yeah. Like Troubadour. Mm -hmm. Hey, if he'd had more time to work, he'd have been hard to handle in that four-year-old class. You got Troubadour. You, you got, got Kobe. I mean, they, there's several of them. There's Honor True and Remember room. and Dan Waddell. This horse right here, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a good horse. I tell you what, that owner of that horse are super good people too. Yeah. Kim and George Lewis, you, know, you, you just can't beat them. They're just super nice, super nice. <laughs> and right here, it just seems like we call this horse's name out all the time. <laughs> Epic, and Megan Hammond ah, takes the blue yeah. in the show pleasure class. The Cochise, Janie Chapman was reserved, walking chick, Nora Alexander. Ringmaster, Amy Kurt McCurdy. He's a jailbird, Sherry Bonner. Melania, Debbie Williams, and a hard eight, Skylar Nipper, gold broker, George Moorhead finished out the ribbons. Good class. Yeah. It's a tough class. <coughs> but you know, even this class right here, it's got, that's made for a Pacific horse. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times you will have somebody put 
another one. Now this class right here has got a lot of horses that really fit this this class right here. Mm -hmm. And for those horses that really do not care for that tail set, it's ideal. Absolutely. I ain't so sure if I was Mike, I wouldn't have that one in the stud barn. <laughs> He's got a lot of credentials. He does now. Yes, he does. Hey, three world grand championships mm -hmm. in a row. She's done a nice job. And that horse got the background to be a good breeding stud. Tell you too. what, that was a pretty good one right it there, sure too. Was. Jamie's horse looked pretty good right there. He just doesn't take a bad step. Mm -mm. We just had four or five like him. <laughs> I'd sell them. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take some of my horses and make them look like that? You got one. <laughs> you got, got a two-year-old coming through you. Yeah, that work like that. That's true. Now he he is he's he's pretty steppy, yeah. but I I need a couple more. There you go. I know you we make my filly do that. We we'll just go out here and buy some more. That's what we do. Go go buy that place. Well, Mary, wh wh where are you headed from here now? Well, I'm gonna be uh, going down and spend a little bit more time with Jerry, um, and then I'll probably head back to my farm over in Murray County, oh. Williamsport, Tennessee. Well, I'll be over there tomorrow. I'm I'm just coming to fool with that coat a little bit but we got to do some stuff with sci-fi we got to get a a bed inspection yeah and got to get a little video of him getting up on the stump, stump. yeah mm -hmm. and that, that that'll finish that we're going to put him in one of those online sales because okay. he, he's a piece of work you can throw firecrackers down in front of him he'll stand there and look at him mm. so that's good that's well, the disposition that, you need well that that's what you want he's a big horse pretty mm -hmm. horse he uh he can get to and cover some ground yeah Uphill or down, it doesn't make no difference. I mean, he just he just it's gold. gets on. I want to thank you for coming, and oh, I appreciate for having I appreciate you having here. Thanks for having I really me. do. Thank you, there, and, sir. All right, and, thank and, you. And, and Jeremy, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. And me and Jerry will see everybody next week. And Baron, welcome back anytime he wants to come. Well, thank you. How's thank that? you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you up on it. <laughs> Have a good weekend, folks. See y'all. Bye, bye now. <laughs>